And let's get the post-game comments of the skipper now. Inside we go to Buck Joe Walter. Uh, no, I've seen him. It's good, if not better. No, he pitched well. He's pitched some good games for us this year. And in the past, I've seen him like that. But, uh, you know, he deserved a better fate. They just um, they pitched a little better than we did today. Uh, Buck, didn't add up. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll oh, go ahead. You don't win a game in the second inning, but how tough was that? With the yeah, you know, we didn't square up many balls. Uh, JJ square up ball at third base. Uh, you know, uh, Craig hit that ball on the button, one hopper right there at him. I'd like to see us get a little lead there, but uh, that's something you'll think about. Plus the game that Mark Akers had in right field. I tell you, the one ball Veritek, we were playing him right center. He had to go a long way for that ball. A lot of guys, that situation, sometimes uh, shy away from that ball. And then, of course, the throw he made. It's, uh, when you talk about Nick as a baseball player, those are the type of things and those type of conditions that uh, he does something like that that reminds you what kind of player he is in person. It was impressive. When the pitcher's walking that many batters, though, it's frustrating that you couldn't do anything with yeah, it. Couldn't cash it in. You know, sometimes you're wildly effective, then all of a sudden he'd throw a couple balls right on the black. And uh, you know, he's a guy that everybody's touted very highly for years when he was first drafted. And you know, he's had his struggles with command. Just uh, you know, there's a fine line between being aggressive and being selective, and I think everybody's always looking for that, and kind of worked in his favor today. And Jake, I mean, he didn't walk anybody. It's first time the season he hasn't walked anybody. Mm -hmm. How much did that improve? It's good to see. That's no, good. He had a good tempo. His delivery was uh, uh, a little quicker to the plate from the stretch, with one exception where the guy stole on him at one six, which you know he was pretty good for the most part most of the day, and his tempo was a lot better, which I'm sure his temp his. Uh, teammates were happy with, but it's something that we've been uh, trying to stress with him a little bit. You talked about the need to uh, beat the Bostons and the New Yorks since you got here. These games bother you personally a little bit more? Or a little no, I, I think they're all, you know, they're good. They're very good. You know, that maybe that's a professional jealousy. You know, they're good. We want to get to that level one day. And at times we do uh, on a given night, but uh, the consistency that they bring on both sides of the baseball is why they're good. You know, you knew that you had about six or seven innings to, to do something against him before they bring in the people at the end of the game that, that make runs matter. But uh, no, it's, uh, whether it's Kansas City, who uh, you know, it's, they're all, but you know, whether I think a lot of people I've said many times forget that Tampa's won this division two out of the last three years. And um, that's why it was uh, heartening early in the year when we started off well against them, because we kind of knew that, that right now that's the barometer as much as Boston and New York. So, um, you know, we play them so many times, and uh, you don't have to have a lot of feedback to realize, you know, what the level you have to get to is right in front of you. You made a lot about not making quality starts for the, for the pitchers. Um, now you have three or four quality starts, mm -hmm. and you don't, have, you, know, you don't have the offense. It just seems like when things aren't going well, it's Yeah, I don't know. We, we won three of our last four games because we started, our starting pitch has been better. We got shut out today, and, um, you know, I'm hoping that it's starting to uh, turn a little bit with the starting pitching. And uh, you know, we'll see. We get Look, Santana and some good pitchers coming in behind him. I know it's a small victory. Could you talk a little bit about Mark Worrell today? It's a good situation. I, I wanted to get him back out there if I could. I certainly was hoping for a little better situation than that. And that you couldn't imagine that he would have uh, responded that way. So, you know, you talk about a guy that's been through a lot of journeys in baseball. I'm sure it's a nice moment for him. and. Certainly was for us too, but uh, you know, he just missed having a good outing in the last one. But uh, you know, you, some, sometimes you can't always paint the perfect uh, first outing. You know, if you're a relief pitcher, you're going to come in in situations with people on base where things are magnified if you don't do the job. So as tough as that situation was uh, day before yesterday, you know, today might have been a little tougher. I like the way he responded. Look. Good. Uh, Buck, what's made uh, Ellsbury so effective at the plate, not only today, but the entire series? Well, uh, we shouldn't feel like he's picking on us. He's having a great year and uh, seems to even be better against us. Uh, you can ask the same question about Reddick, you know, Gonzalez. You know, we've, you know, when, but Jeremy showed last night when you get the balls in certain places and certain sequences, uh, you know, you can get them out. But uh, mistakes are magnified. You know, the, uh, Jake just made a couple of location mistakes and because of the number of runs that were, weren't scoring today, it got magnified. I mean, usually on a given night, Jake's outing is good enough for a W. Buck with uh, Hendrickson, gave you three innings real good the other night. And did you see anything different today? I, 
you know, this is, falls underneath the no kidding. It's command. It's fastball. You know, that's one thing that Mark uh, is usually real good at. And, uh, you know, he painted himself in a real hole. There was a fine line there, too, between not giving in and counts. And, you know, Mark's not going to sit there and throw a lot of fastballs and fastball counts. He's got to have the command of all his pitches working. It wasn't there for him today. Thanks.